We're taking game night up a notch. Oh, boy. Mm. Someone in this room is going to be taken, and it's going to be up to you to find them. It's a murder mystery party. Whoever finds the victim wins the grand prize. You're not going to know what's real and what's fake. Wait a sec. You can't just come in here and break the door. Oh! Looks so real. Murder, you asshole! Help me, please! This is it! Guys, make sure you get a piece of this yeah. cheese. Oh, it's I'm just the first one that follows us gets shot. Okay, Roger that. You drive safe. I've always enjoyed the camaraderie of good friends competing in games of chance and skill. Do we follow him? It seems like him. Ryan, you go first. I'm scared. Lou. Not a joke. You people are in real danger. Is this gun real? Oh, oh no, Andy. Oh, oh no, 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 hey. no. Hey. Blood! I hate game night! Oh, shit. Let's all take a little bath. Oh, it's so much worse. I have kids at home. Not with an ass like that, you don't. Oh. Well, thank you. Yes! Oh, no, he died! This is instructions on how to remove a bullet. He didn't have rubbing alcohol, so I got you this lovely shard. Good idea. Way to pivot. And then a squeaky toy. For the pain. That's smart, huh? So, can I ask you a hypothetical question? Oh, dear, I don't like hypothetical questions. Well, I don't think you're gonna like the real one, either. Do you have the papers? Not yet. This is a devastating security breach that was leaked out of the Pentagon. The most highly classified documents of the war. The Times says 7,000 pages detailing how the White House has been lying about the Vietnam War for 30 years. The way they lied, those days have to be over. Okay, people are concerned about having a woman in charge of the paper, that she doesn't have the resolve to make the tough choices. Thank you, Arthur, for your frankness. Let's do our jobs. Find those pages. You're talking about exposing years of government secrets. Is that legal? What is it you think we do here for a living, kid? Ben, I might have something. It must be precious cargo. It's just government secrets. The New York Times was barred from publishing any more classified documents dealing with the Vietnam War. If you publish, we'll be at the Supreme Court next week. Meaning? Well, we could all go to prison. To make this decision, to risk her fortune and the company that's been her entire life, well, I think that's brave. If the government wins, the Washington Post will cease to exist. If we don't hold them accountable, who will? We can't hold them accountable if we don't have a newspaper. Nixon will muster the full power of the presidency, and if there's a way to destroy you, by God, he'll find it. I'm asking your advice, Bob, not your permission. But you can't do this. The legacy of the company is at stake. What will happen if we don't publish? We will lose. The country will lose. What are you going to do, Mrs. Graham? Clean that lab, you get out. She deaf? Mute, sir. She can hear you. The thing we keep in there is an affront. And I should know, I dragged it all the way here. Help! It's a 
lot of blood. What went on in here? Ooh. It was you that found my fingers. There was mustard on them. The Soviets want it. We know that much. We need to take it apart. Learn how it works. What happened? It's an animal. Just keeping it tame. I can either save him or let him die. Don't do this, Eliza. Don't do this. I'm going to be synchronizing our watches just like they do in the movies. Oh, woman, we're going to burn in hell. The asset, do you have it? Sir, I'm getting it back. Our concern is the Russians. And fuck this mess. You delivered, right? Right? We didn't see nothing. What am I doing? Interviewing the shit cleaners. He's a wild creature. We can't ask him to be anything else. You were speaking Russian, Bob! <laughs> Finish the job, son. Eliza, honey, he's coming for you. Good morning, wife. your window what you know is true i'm taking you away for the weekend i just can't believe this is my life that i get to live with you oh i love your precious heart it meant nothing to me before you anna gray's office we wanted to welcome the new fiction editor we could live. i bought it for us I should have asked you first. I love it. Oh my god. Christian. This is Gio Matteo, the architect. This location is perfect. I'm going to build you a fabulous house. Please stop speaking to my husband as if I weren't here. Anna. <laughs> you may call me Mrs. Gray. I'll pick you up a five. I might not be done by then. We're being followed. How the hell are you, Anna? Jack, what do you want? So you want to play? Yes, sir. I made a vow to love you faithfully, forsaking all others. Did you sleep with her? To comfort you in times of need, and to keep you safe, for as long as we both shall live. Peter, are you sure you know what you're doing? Never stopped me before. <gasps> Come on in. Wait, didn't you try to eat me? Show me your teeth. Do you like a goat like... <sighs> it was you! I knew it! How are you? So good to see you. Hello. Oh! Run! It looks like there's a new owner. This guy? Who does he think he is? This is our land. Hello, I'm B. Thomas McGregor. These gates are incredibly sturdy. Uh, I just need to keep the wildlife out where they belong. In London, we find vermin and we exterminate them. <gasps> what happens if we touch it? We're about to find out. Uh... No, Mrs. Tiggy Wingle, stop! <laughs> <laughs> 
Look away. This is our ancestors' land. It's time to get our garden back. We're gonna need everyone. Come on, Mopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, Benjamin. Ha! Come on. Ha! Run! Rabbits are perfect creatures. <laughs> You'll grow to love them. That was so classic. He was like. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> Things are not going to end well for you. No guts, no glory. It's time to bring the fight to him. London. Would you like to have a hold? My two boys getting along perfectly. <laughs> Rabbit. <laughs> Thomas! And that's what separates us from the French. Our natural rabbit's pace should be able to keep up. Oh. Oh. Do you know what? That would never have worked. Arcadia is a hotbed for supernatural activity. There's a whole other world we know nothing about. Creatures living in shadows. Monsters living amongst us. Whatever they are, someone or something in Arcadia is at the center of this. Oh my gosh, is this a call? Like a, a good old troll hunting mission? Are we really doing this? Uh, I think we are, but I was only half listening and he was talking really fast. I don't really know what we're supposed to be doing. Our freedom is at hand. <gasps> it cannot be. Death would be on every doorstep. Arcadia will turn to ash. We're gonna have to stop it. <laughs> we are stronger together! Yeah, so fight! If only I had a portable war hammer. Oh wait, I do! Let's rock this joint! Daylight is mine to command! The amulet made you a troll hunter. You made yourself a hero. Ugh, Arg. <laughs> Breakfast burrito. Grandkids, cousins, pretty much everyone gets together. Even great grandma Coco. And the winner is Luchadora Coco! I tell her pretty much everything. I used to run like this, but now I run like this, it's just way faster. Life sounds like Miguel, ah! eat your food. Here, have some more. No gracias. <gasps> I mean, see? <laughs> That's what I thought you said. Dia de los Muertos has begun. It's the one night of the year our ancestors can come visit us. I thought it might have been one of those made up things. I was just, but I... Tonight is about family. I am not like the rest of my family. There's something that makes me different. Great, great grandfather, I want to be a musician just like you. All right, who's in there? I'm sorry. Welcome to the land of your ancestors. <laughs> Miguel? We're your family. You're skeletons. You're alive. Yay! You've got to get home before sunrise or you'll be stuck here <laughs> well, what? forever. <laughs> Security. Hurry, come on. It's showtime. You, my boy, are meant to be a musician. I must follow my heart. I am trying to save your life. Nice kitty. Miguel, something smarter more than music. <gasps> Sorry. We may have our differences, but nothing's more important than family. Go! 
It's just Dante. Never name a street dog. They'll follow you forever. Now, go get my shoe. It seems like from the moment you're born, people think they got you all figured out. Now, I know when you look at me, you think big. <laughs> you think scary. <laughs> but I'm a little more... Funny! Complex. <laughs> Sorry I almost killed you. Ow! <laughs> I just want to see you smile. Ferdinand had the perfect life. Who's my good boy? Until one day... All yours, little guy. Everything changed. <laughs> From the creators of Rio and Ice Age. Let me introduce you to the new guy. I don't know you, but I'm not scared of you. <laughs> Angus, you're talking to his butt. <laughs> oh, I'm... Ah, you mean goat. Now you're talking to my butt. <laughs> ah, please don't chew on us. My greatest fear is death by Joe. Who are you? I'm Una. I'm Dos. And I'm Cuatro. What happened to Trace? We do not speak of Trace. I really need to get back home. <laughs> <laughs> This is on fire. Spoiler alert! There is no escape. Sucks to be you. I hooped it. <laughs> this December. There are places out there where you don't get pushed around for being yourself. I'm getting out of this place and not leaving anyone behind. Best ah. plan ever! Let's go home, guys! <laughs> Can you just try to be a little more quiet? <laughs> Shh. <laughs> I was younger then. Get them! Everybody in! <laughs> the only thing bigger than his heart <laughs> will be his journey home. Since the dawn of time, life on Earth has been constantly evolving. But with every step forward, there are always a few still trying to catch up. Rabbits. Couldn't we try hunting something bigger? Look at the sort of tribe we are. We're a rabbit hunting tribe, and it served us very well up till now. The rabbits are forging back! I don't think this is rabbits. The Edge of Stone is over! Long live the Edge of Bronze! What's bronze? Sliced bread! Wow! That's the best thing since... well, ever! Where have you been, the Stone Age? Your guys are finished. It's time to take our valley back. You're pretty brave, caveman. And stupid. What strange magic is this? <clears throat> Actually, more stupid than brave, really. Thanks. Romeo and Juliet are moving to a whole new garden. All clear! <laughs> it's not quite perfect, but it's ours. Think of all the adventures we're gonna have. Look, there's a pool! Woohoo! I'm okay! Excuse me. Oh, man, Katie, that is just. Are you done? I've made a jacuzzi. 
Humans coming. Houses, everyone. They were supposed to live happily ever after. But when their world is in danger... Julia, the gnomes, they're all gone. There's only one gnome to call. What the fertilizer? I'm Sherlock Gnomes, sworn protector of garden gnomes. You mean, except for the one you literally just broke. Broken? Who's broken? Oh my god! In 2018... All ahead, fall, Watson! Those gnomes are in terrible danger. From the director of Kung Fu Panda. We can't let anyone hear this, but they're going to smash us all tomorrow night. Smashed? This guy said we're all going to be smashed tomorrow. Ah! Prepare for an adventure. Woo! We have to get across that river. We'll need a ship. No ship, Sherlock. We've got a great unknown. <laughs> Philip, our next clue is in the park. Get us directions quickly. Just follow the blue line on the ground until you find the giant red thumbtack. Careful, it looks pointy. Still James McAvoy, Emily Blunt, Chuita Lejiapur, Mary J. Blige, and Johnny Depp with original music by Eldon John and Bernie Taupin. We have to go undercover. Let's go. Two forward. Uh, hold. Ooh, I said hold. Forgive me, I've never been the back end of a squirrel before. Shh, we've been spotted. <laughs> <laughs> Sherlock knows. That's not how a squirrel shakes its behind. Mankini, can you demonstrate? Do you see what I'm doing? See? Do you see? Yes, you're acting like a rear end.